Well, hello there. First uh, Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 11. It says, But now the manifestations of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one, to another, to another, to another, to another. All these work at that one and self same spirit in verse 11, dividing to every man severally as he wills. Every man, severally as he wills. Now, to put God anywhere in there it means that we're not in charge. How many eyes has God given you? How many noses, how many ears, how many legs, how many arms, how many of everything do you have? And how many of those same things does everybody else have? Except in a rarity. How many people do you know with two heads? Oh, I only know one. The twins. And they're still alive. And they believe. They are believers. Oh my God, talk about a witness from God. Anyway, let's get back to the subject of, uh, you know, you got everything I got unless you have a a certain situation, but what God gave me is the same thing he gave you, which we all have. We all have the same amount of arms, legs, and everything else, so God is no respecter of persons. Therefore, if that's the case, then that's the standard. If that's the standard, then why would it change anywhere else? Oh, because it's spiritual, it's religious, it's, no, it's the word of God, the same word that built the first man is the same word that we use today, 5,000 years later, if not six, 6,000 years later, if not closer to seven, because 7,000 years of a thousand years is one day and one day is a thousand years, we come to seven years, a 7,000 years we're coming to the end of the week. The Lord's Day. Yeah. Anyway, a little miss pronunciation and anything there. But anyway, uh, verses 7 to 11 are written to every believer. God's not going to give me tongues and not give it to you when there's 17, 19, 18 benefits to speaking in tongues. And he's going to give it to me, but not you. And that's not very fair. If I need a word of wisdom and you got a word of wisdom and you're halfway across the world, how am I going to get a word of wisdom? The whole damn thing doesn't make any sense unless God gives everybody that is born again the same thing. Then you decide what you're going to do with it. That's free will. That encompasses all of it. God's goodness to everybody and everybody's free will. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 through 11 is written to every born again believer. And if you don't believe it, you're uninformed, misinformed, and not don't have a clue of the truth of the power that God has given everybody through the accomplished works that God did through Jesus Christ. That's the end of that. 